Hello everybody, this is Dallas with Mahalo and uh, here to talk to you about iWork, uh, teach you a little bit about Pages, which is the word processing application in the iWork suite. Um, in case you don't know, iWork is um, a series of programs by Apple um, that's kind of Apple's answer to Microsoft Office. So you got Pages, Keynote, and Numbers. Pages is word processing, Keynote is presentation software, and Numbers is spreadsheet software. So we're talking about pages right now, and I want to talk to you about the very important action of saving, because you want to save your documents, because you don't want to lose them. But there's a confusing element to saving, and that is the infamous save versus save as. Some people don't know what the difference is, so I'm going to show you and teach you. So let's open pages, and I'm actually going to open a recent document. Go down here to my open recent, and I'm open Mahalo 1. I've got this uh, letter that I'm working on. and um, I've been working on this letter, I've made some changes, you know, I'm thinking, feeling pretty good about it, sounding pretty nice, and now I want to save it. So there's a couple of ways you can do that. If it's a, if it's a document that I've already been working on, which this one is because I just opened it as a recent document that I've been working on, then I can go to File, and it gives me the option to save this document. Now when I click Save, it's just going to replace the original file that I opened with this new version. So now that I've made these changes, it saves it wherever it was saved before, but now it erased the old version, saves the new version. Now let's say I wanted to save this document, but I didn't want to erase my old, old copy of it, my old version. So like, for instance, let's say I'm writing a letter to my mom, and I wrote it, I saved it, and now I want to write a letter to my dad using the same document. So I open my mom's letter, change it to be addressed to my dad, well now I want to save as my dad's letter, not my mom. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. And when I do that, it's going to give my, uh, me a finder window here and give me the option to determine where I want to save it. So I want to save it in my Documents folder, which is where it's set to. And Mahalo1, one, this one's for my mom, so I'm going to save it for mom. And then I go down here and click Save. So now it takes that document and saves it as a new document. So using Save As, instead of replacing the old document, creates an entire new document that I can title and save it as that particular new document. Now, if I close this window, I'm going to go to File, New. So let's say I do a whole new document, blank document, got this new document going on, I'm writing it up, typing my letter, my story, my book, whatever, and now I haven't saved it yet. I've never saved this document before. It's brand new. Well, when I go to File and hit Save, it's going to bring me the same option as if I had hit save as because I've never saved it before so I need to save it as something and I want to save it as a new document and in my documents folder that's where it's saved to so I click save and now it's saved there now when I go to file let's say I edit this document some more work on it now I go to file save it's just going to say, replace the old version with the new version and then I want to you know, edit it some more, but now this one's a different one for someone else that's going to see this one differently, so I want to go to File, Save As, save it as something new. Hope that makes sense, the, the difference between Save and Save As, um, because you're creating a new document versus replacing an old one and saving it on top of it. Um, real quickly, the other thing I was going to teach you, actually, is uh, the keyboard shortcut for save. And I use this a lot because when you're working on a document, especially a really long one that's complicated, and you want to make sure you're saving on a regular basis. And using the keyboard shortcut makes that quick and easy because you can just be typing along and then just hit the keyboard to save your progress. So the keyboard shortcut for saving is Command S. Right there, Command S. So I'm going to pull up my keyboard so you can see what that looks like as I press it. So hold down the command key and then hit the S key and that's going to save it. And I do that on a regular basis. So if I'm working, I'll just be typing and then I'll hit command S to save my progress. Typing, command S, save that progress. So be sure you save your progress or save as if you need to use save as. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.